find the limit as theta approaches zero of this expression here. So if we try to plug in zero, we end up with a zero on the bottom, so that will not work. So the next best strategy is to maybe rewrite tangent in terms of sine and cosine. So this is equal to the limit as theta approaches zero of the cosine of two theta. And then we can write tangent as sine over cosine. So this is sine of two theta over cosine of two theta. It's all being divided by theta. Notice how you know we always write the limit sign every time until we actually take the limit. The cosines now cancel. So this is equal to the limit as theta approaches zero of the sine of two theta over theta. All right, so there is a formula that appears to be useful here. So if you take the limit as x approaches zero of sine x over x, this is equal to one. This is a super important formula that can be used in this problem. So in this problem, we have a two theta. So notice that this matches this. So here we have a two theta. That means we need to have a two theta down here. So what do we do? We just put it there. Right? We can just put it there. But we can't really do that unless we take it away. So I'm gonna put it, I'm gonna put it up top as well like this. You see. And now what you can do is you can pull this two out. So you can write it like this. Limit theta approaches zero of sine two theta over two theta. And now you see it matches. It matches just like the formula does. You see you have the x and the x in the formula. Here you have the two theta and the two theta. And as theta approaches zero, two theta approaches zero. So it, it matches the formula. So this piece here in parentheses is going to be equal to one from the formula. So it's two times one. So that's equal to two. And that should be the final answer. So very important to um, you know carefully show the work here. I usually uh, don't don't do it like this. Um, usually, I usually go from from here to here. So I, if it was, I would just do this if it was me. I showed an extra step there, and then I put the two theta on the bottom. You see, and then you can just see you know that these cancel right. This one and this one cancel. So we really just get this. So and then from here, you just do two times one, so it's two. I hope this video has been helpful.